Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. So I have some spring candles that I purchased today at uh, Bath & Body Works and also I found some DW candles in um, Winners. Uh, so yeah, I did get a couple of those and I got uh, some other few little other spring goodies. Uh, so yeah, the, the weather is finally getting mild here and hopefully we'll leave winter behind soon. I got my hair got caught in the rain today, so it's, it's just doing its own thing. Um, so I will start with the DW candles that I found in uh, winters today. And these were both nine ounce candles. Uh, these are the one wick DW candles and I don't always have a lot of luck with the burn on these so I'm hoping these will behave themselves uh, but they they really are very nice fragrances I'm just finding it very hard to find the three wick DW candles um, or even the two wick lately for some reason so um, hopefully they'll come back so the first one I did get for the DW was the KOA wood and that's what that looks like and I really did like this in the store. It has a bit, bit of a woodsy scent, but not um, not overpowering. And there's a little bit of something something in there, and I just can't quite put my finger on it. But it it is a woodsy scent. It's some kind of spice. It's almost leaning towards licorice, um, but there is a spice in there. Oh yeah, definitely something spicy in there, um, but I really do like it. Um, just a nice spicy woodsy scent. Very unique. I haven't really smelled anything like that before. And the second DW I, I did get was Stop and Smell the Violets. And then there's a little design on the back there. So I'm not usually into just florals that are just, you know, just rose and that's it, or just lily, or I just need some sweetness or woodsiness or something added in here. And there's definitely sweetness added to this one. So yeah, these are one wick, so they better behave themselves. But yeah, this is it. This is, uh, it's very sugary. It's like a sugary violet. And uh, what's that one uh, Sensationals makes? The um, the sugar lavender, something like, it kind of reminds me of that, but it's not lavender, obviously, it's violet, but it's just that kind of sugary floral scent. So yeah, I thought I'd give them a try. Um, hopefully these one wicks will burn a little bit better than the ones I've had in the past. And um, just before I get to Bath and Body Works, here's a, just a few little spring items that I purchased when I was in um, Marshalls. And if you watch my channel enough, you know I do like um, the Skinny Syrup coffee flavorings. The, uh, they have uh, caram caramel, um, Irish cream, those sort of things. And I also get the Skinny Syrups for my iced tea and um, water also. Because I had a kidney stone in the past, I don't want another one, so I'm trying to chug as much water in that as I can. But the London tap water is really gross here. So anyway, I found a couple new ones that are really kind of fun. And this is the Skinny Syrups Unicorn Dreams. So it has zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs. And that's what this one looks like. And this one says, um, Perfect for cocktails, champagne, water, lemonade, and more. And the flavor is sweet and sour blue raspberry frosting, unicorn flavor. So yeah, you can just um, add it to I uh, add it to my water and and, and um, iced tea, but you can add it to to whatever to add a little bit of flavoring. And another one they they had uh, was the ice cream collection, and this was banana split. And I think they also had waffle cone and um, birthday cake flavored or something like that and then finally in um this was in winners i love bunnies i used to have pet bunnies and i just absolutely adore them they were uh toilet trained not toilet trained litter trained and the whole kit and caboodle so i love rabbits so i did find this uh little bowl and it was actually handmade in italy it says and it was just 6.99 and you're such a cute little bunny. They had a lot of like plates uh, with this design, um, bigger bowls, cups, etc., etc. And then I found this little bunny rabbit. Uh, this is Fine Bone China. It was $4.99. And look at that little fella. He's so cute. And the blue flowers are just so pretty. 
And then I got some uh, napkins with a little bunny rabbit on it. So that was it for um, Marshalls and Winners. And then, uh, so I went, um, they're really not having much sales for the candles at Bath and Body Works. Um, it's been a little while since they've had one, and today the I think they were on for like thirteen ninety five, which is uh, it, they're just getting expensive. Um, I did have a twenty percent off my entire purchase coupon, um, and then when I left, they gave me these other coupons. Well, this one just tells you how to light a candle. Um, this is free body care if you spend so much. There's no ten off ten off thirty coupons anywhere, so. Um, that's quite disappointing. So anyway, I ended up getting two, four, s seven candles. Uh, kind of went through my stash before I left to see how many um, kind of the warmer weather candles, spring and summer, I had. I I had a, f a few of the Bath and Body Works. Um, so there's there's some that are the classic ones that I just get every year because I just really do like them. And there's a couple that I haven't tried before. So the first one is Happy Easter, and this is Chocolate Bunny. Another little bunny. And actually the top, the lid is really cute with the little rabbits there. And this is definitely chocolate. Yeah, this is definitely chocolate. And oh, I saw Melanie there from the Facebook, uh, uh, the Candle Dancer's Corner. I haven't seen her forever. Was, we had a lovely chat. It was so nice to see her. So she was wondering if this smelled like hot cocoa and cream. And you know what? I think they're, I think they're pretty well the same. But now I get nose blind because I'm going back and forth. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. Yeah, I don't really think there's too much difference sniffing them back and forth. Um, if there is a little bit of a difference, it's pretty small. But yeah, that's is a, definitely definitely chocolate, and I really like the color of the wax for Easter. I think that's really pretty. Alrighty, and the next, uh, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't uh, tried this one before. It's Cucumber and Lily. And I love cucumber scents. I think they're just so bright and refreshing. I can't wait to open up the windows and get some of these uh, fresh um, spring-like candles going. Now, I don't get as much cucumber as I was hoping to. I was hoping cucumber was the more dominant scent, but I think the floral or the lily is a little more dominant than the cucumber. I was hoping it was the other way around, but it still is bright and refreshing. Just very clean smelling. It's not an overpowering floral. So yeah, on cold, I really do like that one. And then I did get Black Cherry Merlot. Jules loves this one, so I had to get it for him. And oh! Man, that just, on cold, that just drains your sinuses. Now, I love Rainforest Gardenia. I get it every year. It's just something about that. Um, and usually the labels are really, really pretty. But this one, I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling the label here at all. I don't know. This is just a little too psychedelic for me. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. But that's fine. Um, I can throw it in one of my little... Uh, pots there and I won't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, I just, it's a greenery floral scent and I just love that one. And this one, now this may be a repackage. I have no idea. Some of these summer scents start kind of smelling the same or, you know, basically have the same kind of vibe to it. So I don't know if this is a repackage. I have absolutely no idea. It does smell familiar. What it's repackaged of, I have no idea, but I really did like it. And this is Seaside Days. Now, most of the packaging um, this for this summer is pretty lame, but this one I really did like. There's like a little swing over the water. Um, I just hope to God no shark comes by and starts nibbling on someone's feet hanging down. But anyway, lovely, lovely packaging. And this is definitely a, like a seaside beachy kind of scent. Oh, it's it is um, it's a floral. It has maybe a a hint of sunscreen in there. It's musky. I, I really it's a musky floral uh, kind of scent. I actually really do like it on cold. So I hope it throws. And yeah, that packaging is very pretty. And then um, 
good old bergamot waters. I get this every year. I always take it up to the cottage. I just absolutely love this scent. Um, kind of reminds me of floral, uh, sorry, not floral, flannel in a way, but different. So it, it, it is a little bit masculine, but I don't think it veers, it tips over to being colony myself. That's me. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a musky floral. I, I, there's just, I just love this one. I definitely get this every year. I just don't get tired of that one. And then, um, this one usually only in the winter time. So I was, um, glad to see it again. And yeah, this one is pretty good all year. If you ask me, I really do like it as uh, the vanilla birch. And I do like the, the label on this one. I do like that one. And yeah, this is just a vanilla and woods. Just, oh, uh, I really like this one. And there's um, a softness to it. Uh, kind of a muskiness to it. I just really, really like this one. So, uh, yeah, so that's it for my Bath and Body Works uh, candles. Oh, and I, I always get these shopping bags at Winners and Home Sense Marshalls. And they're great for, I use them all the time for groceries and I fold them up and put them in my purse so I'm not bringing plastic bags home all the time. And they did have a new one. And it is uh, London with all the uh, Big Ben and the London Bridge, etc. And I just love the colors, like the deep teal and turquoise with the the, the dark gold in that. I just really like the colors and how they work together. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, so if if you did purchase any of these uh, spring candles from Bath and Body Works, which one did you like? I mean, I did see some and I kind of sniffed them and I thought, ah, I don't know. But um, sometimes they turn around and surprise you when you start burning them. So let me know what your favorite uh, spring scent from Bath and Body Works is. And uh, so yeah, that's it. I have to go uh, grocery shopping. The cupboards are bare. And um, yeah, so anyway, I hope everyone is doing well and uh, take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.